Podcast. Good morning and welcome to another InvestorIdeas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Today we will be looking at announcements from Planet 13's Holding Incorporated, trading on the CSE as PLTH and the OTCQB as PLNHF. Neptune Technologies and Bioresources Incorporated trading on the NASDAQ and the TSX as NEPT. Canopy Growth Corporation trading on the TSX as WEED and the New York Stock Exchange as CGC. C21 Investments Incorporated trading on the CSE as CXXI. And Canna Royalty Corporation trading on the CSE as CRZ. First, looking at Planet 13's Holding Incorporated, a leading vertically integrated Nevada cannabis company who announced today that the OTC Markets Group has approved the listing of the company's common shares on the OTCQB venture market under the ticker symbol PLNHF. Trading began on the OTCQB at the opening of the market today on September 17th. Planet 13 is entering a phase of significant growth. The grand opening of our 40,000 square foot Las Vegas Superstore is on track for November 1st, and we continue to generate strong growth and profitability from our medicine dispensary, and discussions to open additional retail locations in other U.S. jurisdictions are underway, said Robert Grosbeck, co-CEO of Planet 13. A U.S. listing will be both enable a broader investor base to participate in Planet 13's story and enhance visibility as we build a premier portfolio of retail cannabis properties across the U.S., grounded in Las Vegas experience. Next, looking at Neptune Technologies and Bioresources Incorporated, who today announced that it's received a confirmation of readiness letter from Health Canada in regard to its application to become a licensed producer under the ACMPR. Health Canada's positive response marks another important regulatory step forward to obtaining Neptune's license to produce cannabis oil supporting our timeline to commence commercialization this fiscal year. Neptune will notify Health Canada in the coming days and provide all additional required evidence to the agency to demonstrate the corporation's readiness to commence production. Upon satisfactory review by Health Canada of any additional information submitted by Neptune, the corporation will receive its license for cannabis extraction. On August 14th of this year, Neptune announced the completion of its Phase 1 investment of $5 million Canadian in site security and equipment. This investment allows Neptune to make its GMP-certified Sherbrooke, Quebec facility ready to compliant for the extraction of cannabis and production of cannabis oil. Neptune also recently began work on Phase 1 capacity expansion with a capital expenditure budget of $4.8 million Canadian. This next phase is expected to be completed the first quarter of the calendar of 2019, and will increase the total producing capacity to approximately 200,000 kilograms of dried cannabis using advanced extraction processes. Next, looking at Canopy Growth Corporation, who announced that its Tweed Farms Incorporated site has received license amendments approving all remaining greenhouse space, bringing the company's total license footprint to approximately 3.2 million square feet. The company's Canadian platform is now 57% licensed, with the balance under aggressive development towards the previously announced 5.6 million square foot target production footprint. This target excludes significant production capacity projects underway at Canopy Rivers Partners and supply available to Canopy Growth through the third-party agreements. With the recent announcement that C21 Investments Incorporated has signed a letter of intent to acquire Grand Chocolate LLC and Grand Confections LLC in Oregon, the company surpassed 75 million U.S. in pending and closed acquisitions in the United States since its relaunch as a cannabis company in January of 2018. C21 Investments continues to rapidly implement our strategy of acquiring established, revenue-producing, and profitable cannabis operations involved in cultivation, processing, branding, and retailing in selected American states, said Robert Cheney, Chief Executive Officer of C21 Investments. We believe the U.S. cannabis market represents an attractive opportunity for profitable growth, especially for firms like C21 Investment that are vertically integrated and can add value for shareholders for each stage of production and sales processes. Since C21 Investments announced in January that it will focus on the cannabis sector, it has acquired or announced agreements to acquire seven cannabis companies in Oregon and Nevada. Finally, looking at Canna Royalty Corporation, a leading North American cannabis products and brands company, announced today that it signed a letter of intent with Australis Capital Incorporated, whereby Australis intends to purchase 2.2 million shares of common stocks in the capital of Wagner Demas Incorporated from Canroy Delaware Incorporated, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Canna Royalty Corporation. This announcement follows the announcement of the sale of the company's exclusive Canadian license from Wagner Demas Pre-Roll Technology to Aurora Cannabis. 
Pursuant to the agreement, Australis intends to purchase Canroy Delaware's 22% equity interest in Wagner Demas. As consideration for the share purchase, Australis would pay $3 million Canadian, payable in either common shares of Australis or cash. Mark Lustig, chairman and CEO of Canna Royalty, said, Over the past year, our team has been focused on building a platform that will position Canna Royalty as the go-to home of origin for promising growth brands in the California market. To support these ongoing efforts, in early 2018, we outlined a plan to rationalize non-core assets. To date, we have successfully executed that plan, generating significant returns for shareholders and non-dilute capital to fund our California build-out. This agreement is subject to customary closing conditions still. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. InvestorIdeas.com podcasts are also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Stitcher, Our Heart Radio, Spreaker, and TuneIn. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investment.